Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video. So this is something that a lot of people have actually requested. Since I started doing some driver mods in the recent videos, a lot of people were asking me kind of to do a full overview of all the driver mods that I've done to this car. Now this is gonna include suspension, mounts, uh, a bunch of other stuff, including interior stuff as well. And the reason why is because everything that I have done in terms of driver mods has added to the entire package. It has made this car drive the way it drives. We're not gonna go over the performance aspect of it, you know, with the turbo and all that. It's basically just going to be going over all of the driver mods, the things that make this car feel the way it feels on turns and just overall the driver experience. I've done a ton of driver modifications on the STI and I feel like it was only right just to make a video going over everything so everybody knows exactly what went into this car to make it drive the way it does. So the first modification that we have done to make this car drive the way it drives is adding some Fortune Auto Coilovers. These are the Gen 8 uh, 500 series. They have uh, 8K Hyperco Springs. Absolutely amazing, I love these. I just did a refresh of these. Uh, I used to run uh, the Gen 5 Fortune Auto 500 series coilovers for many, many years, over 30,000 miles. And I just did a refresh uh, on this car with brand new Fortune Auto coilovers. Extremely comfortable for every single day type of driving. It also is great for uh, spirited drives uh, when you go out and just have some fun on the twisties. Also for the occasional track day, these things can handle just about anything and they are fantastic. Like I said, this is my second set. I uh, ran my first set uh, for over 30,000 miles with zero issues. I honestly didn't even have a need to change them out. I could have ran them for another 30,000, no problem. But I was just doing a refresh and I wanted to get the new generation in this car. But overall, fantastic coilover set and uh, really, really happy with the Fortune Auto 500 series coilovers. Now the next driver modification that we did to this car is actually in the rear on the back. I have a light here. It's gonna be hard to see because I am running the Varus Engineering Diffuser, but if we can kind of see, it's hard to focus there, but that red little piece right there is a Perrin 25 millimeter rear sway bar. I installed that a while ago and it made a huge difference in the overall driving experience. It really tightened up the rear end. It got rid of a lot of the slop. Granted, the Fortune Autos did a good job at removing a lot of the float and slop. Uh, the 25 millimeter rear sway bar from Perrin did a fantastic job removing anything else that was left over. And also at the same time that I did the rear Perrin sway bar, I also did Perrin poly end links. Uh, later down the road, I upgraded the front end links as well to the same ones. I did the Perrin poly end links as well in the front. Although the end links are not something you're going to notice on the street or overall, it's something that's going to help the reliability, the overall longevity, uh, because the stock end links are just known to pop out and kind of wear really fast, especially when you start lowering the car and adding suspension bits and everything. So upgrading your end links is definitely a must, especially if you're modified like my car, I definitely recend it. I'm not a big fan of adjustable end links. I did run them uh, before on previous cars. I'm not a big fan of them. Also solid end links, something that's a little bit more geared towards track. Not a big fan of it. I highly recommend sticking to uh, poly end links to keep the noise level down, but also upgrading uh, the overall end link and making it that much better. Also in the back, again, hard to see because I'm running the Varus Engineering Diffuser. I'm running Super Pro lower control arms. So the only reason why I'm running them is to dial in the rear camber. Uh, when you lower your car on coilovers or any type of suspension in general on these cars, there is no rear camber adjustment. Some people do camber bolts, which are honestly kind of pointless. I recommend just replacing the entire lower control arm. They're really not that expensive and it allows you to adjust your camber to where you want it. So those have been great, I'm really happy with them. And it allowed me to dial in the camber in the rear just to where I needed it. Now we are still sticking towards the back. You guys just saw me install this modification. These are the Beat Rush differential bushings. These things made a really big difference, believe it or not. It's literally just a bushing that slips right into the differential carrier on the back. Uh, and they made a huge difference overall in the shifting feel. I did go over my full review on that, explaining that gears one to two and even to three, it really, really smoothed everything out and it really did make a big difference overall in the driving experience of this car. I'm really happy I installed them. They're really not that expensive. I think they're around 150 bucks or so, a little bit cheaper maybe. Um, and they're definitely something you will be able to feel right away. Even if you're just driving on the street, you don't have to be shifting hard or driving hard or anything. Uh, it is a huge upgrade overall, so I highly recommend them. And another recent modification that you guys just saw me install was the parent transmission mount. Overall, it increased the rigidity uh, of the overall transmission feel. Now, it didn't increase any NVH, which is noise, vibration, and harshness, uh, but it overall added to the package. It made it that much better. It made shifting that much smoother, and it feels fantastic. Highly recommend it. I have an install video on that as well, also a review, so go check those out if you're interested. Now we're gonna go over a few interior mods that I did to increase the overall drivability. Uh, the shifter right there is the Cartboy Short Shift Kit. 
Absolutely love that shifter. I had it in my WX, it's fantastic. It's not too low, it shortens the throw, but at the same time, it doesn't make it obnoxious and uh, hard to drive. I love it. If I ever get any other WX or STIs in the future, 100% Carpoy will be the go-to that I always put in. It is great, solidly made product, and it has worked fantastic over these years. I also installed the Carpoy shift bushings, which made a really, really nice difference. Um, just overall, it did increase NVH overall a little bit, increased the transmission whine and noise, but it sounds really cool and I really do enjoy it. Also, the shift knob is a racing uh, Strato shift knob in Alcantara. I absolutely love the shift knob. I've gone over my love for this many, many times, but it is fantastic. I think it weighs around 419 grams, so it's a good mix between heavy and light. It's not overly heavy or anything like that. I'm not a big fan of really, really heavy knobs, uh, and it's not too light, so this is perfect. It's a little pricey, but 100% worth it. Also, I can't go over drivability mods without naming the Recaro Sportster GT seats. These things are absolutely amazing. Literally, my favorite modification I have done to this car. These stock seats in the STI and WRX are just not good at all. They sit way too high, uh, and I always had back pains, and they were just not good. So upgrading to these amazing Recaro Sportster GTs, it was such a great improvement. It really, really changes the overall driving feel of this car. You're much lower. The driving position is fantastic. You're more directly at the pedals as opposed to being on top of the pedals. And you feel like you're a part of the car as opposed to being on top of the car. So it really, really changes the whole entire driving dynamic of this. I highly recommend getting some type of aftermarket seat into the car, but I couldn't recommend the Recaro Sportsters enough. Now, I wanna go over the pedal setup. This is a great driver mod. I highly recommend them. The pedals here are SRP racing pedals. They go over the existing uh, stock STI pedals or WRX, but they have been a huge improvement overall, and I'm really, really happy with them. And one of the coolest things about it, if you notice on the throttle pedal, there's an extension that comes out, so it allows you to uh, do heel towing much easier, and it really, really helped overall to drive this car much easier. The pricing of these is pretty reasonable. I got it from Subi Speed, fantastic product. I also installed, you can kind of see it back there, uh, the Varus Engineering throttle pedal spacer. What that actually did was bring the uh, throttle pedal closer uh, to the brake pedal, so it's a little bit more even, and it increases the ability and the ease of heel towing in this car uh, much, much better. I've been a really big fan of it. It does take some time getting used to, but after getting some tea time with them and driving it around and everything, it is a must mod, uh, and I absolutely love it. Now we've got everything done in the interior. We're gonna hop it back into the engine bay area. We did a few things here. Not gonna be able to see them since everything is kind of underneath uh, a lot of this stuff. Uh, underneath the Grim Speed intercooler, I did the parent pitch stop as well as the parent pitch stop mount. Uh, and the mount also comes with the parent uh, stainless steel clutch line as well. Overall, fantastic modification, highly recommend it. The stock pitch stop is made pretty much of plastic with really, really soft bushings. So when you are shifting, uh, everything is moving around and there's a lot of drivetrain loss. So putting in a stronger pitch stop mount with poly bushings is going to decrease that slop and you'll be able to get more power straight to the drivetrain without that loss. Uh, the parent pitch stop mount is very, very important as well since you are adding a stiffer mount. Uh, what that actually does is actually stiffens up the area where the pitch stop mounts. Uh, so there's no cracking on the firewall because there has been some issues uh, with the VA chassis of that happening. So definitely recommend that. And also, as I mentioned, the pitch stop mount uh, comes with a pairing that clutch line since you do need to remove that. And that actually increases the feel of the clutch overall. It's much more solid. It was a pain in the butt to bleed. You guys saw a video on that going over everything. I ended up bringing it to my shop and they did a bench bleed, which worked uh, much better. Uh, so keep in mind for that. We also did the parent brake master cylinder brace. You can kind of see it right there. What that actually does is when you brake, you hit the brake pedal, the whole entire master cylinder flexes on the firewall. So putting that brace there, it holds it in place and it removes that slop. So you get a more direct brake feel. I love it. It's not something you're gonna notice dramatically, but again, it's one of those things overall that increases drivability and increases the fun of this car. Now, this is not something that I necessarily think really helps, but the parent strut bar here, to be honest, I did this thing for cosmetics just because I had the little white bits and the white brakes and everything. But I also did the parent strut bar and any time that you do tie two points together with a brace or some type of bar like that, it's going to increase the overall rigidity. So I'm sure it does add to the package as well. But great, great modification. I love the way this looks and I'm really happy I did it in white. I feel like I can go nonstop on this video and just start naming a bunch of things. I'm trying to draw the line at some point, but I do want to mention the Rotora big brake kit that I installed. This is a six pot caliper up front and then a four pot caliper in the rear. These are forged calipers, so they're extremely light. It's also a two piece rotor. Um, fantastic. This brake kit is 100% overkill for my car, but it's one of those things that I just had to do. I've always wanted a really, really nice big brake kit on one of my cars. 
and I have an opportunity to install this one on my car. So I figured it was only right to uh, do what I want and make this the best STI I possibly can. So that is all the modifications that I have done in terms of driver mods on this car. I do have a few things that I need to install. Uh, one of which is over here. This is a SMY Performance 26 millimeter front sway bar. I'm curious to see how that's going to feel in this car. Um, I do, like I mentioned, I have the rear sway bar and I've been meaning to get a front one. Perrin does not make a front sway bar. Uh, and this was the largest one I was able to find. It is by SMY Performance, as you can see. I'm just going to install that with the uh, Perrin poly end links that are already installed on the car. And I'm really curious to see how much that's gonna change the overall driving dynamic and feel of this car. So that is going to be installed soon. Also, a lot of people were recommending doing some type of differential carrier as well. And when I did the differential bushings, everybody was saying to do the carrier. I did have plans to do that and I actually ordered the Beat Rush differential carrier. So that is going to be coming in in a few weeks. It was on back order, so that will be in and we'll be doing an install, a review and everything on that. So stay tuned for those mods. So that's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This car is an amazing machine to drive. I encourage everybody to install some of these modifications or all of them. They really, really do change the overall dynamic and experience of this car. From the factory, the STI is a pretty decent handling and performing car, uh, but there are some areas where it needs a little bit of love, a little bit of attention, and I feel like I touched those areas and uh, made them that much better. So if you guys have any questions about any of the modifications that I named in this video, be sure to leave them in the comments below. But in the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.